check all right so we are going to make a tutorial about Laravel 5.7 test driven development so to all Laravel developers what is test driven development so I made a very <laughs> useful research here in Google so uh, applying TDD is applying TDD with Laravel and PHP unit so it's basically a, t a testing before writing the functionality or features or even the relationship inside the unit folder so for this you will be lessen the bugs on the human errors which we developers made when we code because why there will always be a test before you proceed for a certain method for a certain functions so allow me to show you some test driven basic tutorial the first thing we do is to have our new installed laravel so basically this laravel is the new version the 5.7 version we're going to check here so here we have the 5.7 version so here we I have a subline e editor and then I have my working folder so for this we're going to check or to run a basic unit test in our laravel project so for that we need to type bin slash unit slash php unit so for this th there was a notice executed output why because i don't have any test file here for both unit and features so for this i just want to create a or like for example you want to visit a certain page in your laravel project so let me create create view about page test so for this file it's just a basic function of viewing our about page so for this if we're going to run HP unit or unit test let's see what will happen vendor bin okay there was one assertion and it's okay why because it's just simply it's just simply it's just simply like visiting a certain page and then it it's just checking if it's run the test example if it's run or not so if it's run it's checking if it's true and if it doesn't run it's checking if it's you know true or false or false so for this I just want to visit about page and then I want to check status I want to check if the about page is really exists that's why I'm checking or I'm making an assert of status of 200 200 is a, it's an HTTP um, code status that means that yeah this website exists and then for this I'm going to run a, a PHP unit so here we have an error of expected status 200 but received 404 404 is just a uh, HTTP error basically we encounter when there is not found page or no page for that certain url or uri so for that let's go to our routes then web so let me create a get so we have here a url of about all right and a function of I think I'm just going to output a basic text of Morley. Yeah, that's my name. And then let's run our PHP unit test again. So it's it runs okay. It's green and okay. Why? Because basically here in our test, like in our view about page test, is we just want to visit 
our Laravel project with an about page and about page and the URL of slash about. So here we create a URL about and it simply returns a text of Morley. So to check that we need to run our server. Okay. Wait. Run our server. Alright here. So if we're going to put slash about so we only receive a text of Morley. So it runs perfectly okay and fine. So let me cancel this one. And then after that, I just don't want I just don't want to check if it's if it's if the page just simply low. I just want to check if the word morally really exists in that page. Okay? So first we check if the page loads and then the second is we check if that page has the word morally. So let, let me check again. So it's it runs fine. So if, as what you can see we have one test which is this file view about page test and then two assertion which is this first and second assertion. Well actually if you want to call a view, you can call a view here and then you just need to write an HTML with a value of text of Morley. So let me test that one too. Wait, let me run this server. So basically if you run about, this is just what you can see. And then here in our view, alright, wait. create the about page with php and then I want to get rid of this rid of that and I just simply want to output my name I don't know if it's case sensitive right away. I just I just want to check it again because here is what you can observe in our in our test. It's lowercase Morley, and here in my in my about page, I write uh, upper. The first letter is in uppercase, so we are going to check that. right then refresh so for this that we actually the one is, which is loading which is loaded right now is the page the about page as what you can see this is the HTML and then it's not in the center why do I have a bootstrap CDN no I don't so there's no need to put this one oops okay So it's okay. So if we're going to check, all right. So here we have a test sample. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's really a case sensitive because we are we are checking a lowercase Morley and then we just output uh, uppercase first letter of Morley. So let me check again. Boom. So the asser the assertion the test is complete. So we have both successfully checking if the page, if the about page is loaded, and then if the word Morley, which is lowercase, is exists in that page. So the next tutorial in part two, we're going to dig in about test-driven development in Laravel, and then okay, we're going to check if it's if the user is authenticated, and then if. Uh, and then it's uh, just a basic table relationship and so on. Thank you.